Live uh, over the White House this morning, where right now it is still unclear if President Biden will formally speak on the Trump conviction. But yesterday, his campaign wasted no time trying to capitalize on the moment. In a statement reading right here in New York today, we saw that no one is above the law. Donald Trump has always mistakenly believed he would never face consequences for breaking the law for his own personal gain. The White House claims there are no plans for a formal address, despite a report from Politico, you may remember, that said the president would speak from the White House. Now, Biden is supposed to be back in D.C. today to honor the Kansas City Chiefs for winning the Super Bowl. So we'll see if he's going to answer any questions from reporters at that point. And if you're wondering if support for Trump is fading, here's an answer right here. The campaign website for Donald Trump is back online after crashing yesterday. Supporters rushed to the website to donate. Trump has raised tens of millions of dollars due to the trials and plans to keep doing so. His campaign said this, the American people can see through Biden's rigged show trial. Both Trump and Biden's campaign said they, the trial will be settled at the ballot box this November. Right now, we're showing you video of what it was like outside of the courtroom when that verdict came in. You could see people, you could kind of hear people in the back there. Some folks were cheering, other people were booing. And it was not just New York City. Well, I think it's a little bit conspiracy because he got indicted on all counts. I mean, who really gets indicted on all counts? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. They caught him, they found him guilty on 34 counts, correct? Um, it shows that we don't have a two-tier justice system. Voters all across the country, as you can see, are divided. Some Americans say it's justice served, while others are standing behind Trump. I don't believe that he did it. It's ridiculous. I'm going to vote for him even more now because uh, he didn't do anything wrong. It's certainly interesting. You know, uh, we'll see what happens over the next, you know, at least in November. And most voters say it won't change who they plan to vote for in the presidential election. In fact, a recent PBS, NPR and Marist poll right here found 67 percent of respondents felt that way. Twenty five percent of Republicans say they are even more likely to vote for Trump while 27% of Democrats say they are less